Welcome to Terraformer. This is the first uh, video in a series of videos I'm going to make. This video, uh, I'm just going to cover the basic user interface and some of the features of the game. I'm going to go ahead and create a new world. Uh, we use fractals, uh, so you get a slightly different Mars every time you play. The first thing that comes up is this narrative. It gives you a backstory of, of how you happen to uh, be on planet Mars. Basically, uh, Earth has gone to crap. Uh, a mission of three spaceships are sent to Mars. Uh, once they, uh, with the idea of terraforming the planet once you get there, all three spaceships are th shot down upon entering a Mars orbit. You're the sole survivor. So you your job number one is going to be to survive on the planet. Number two, explore the planet, find the other two spaceships, uh, retrieve all the items necessary uh, to terraform the planet, and three, finally terraform the planet, pave the way for humanity to move to planet Mars and save the day and be the big hero and win the game. So. Uh, you start out here in the game uh, in this debris field. If I, uh, I'm just going to click on some items here and, and pick up some items around the debris field. Uh, this is our spaceship. On this spaceship, if I open that up, I have some supplies on the spaceship. I'm going to grab the uh, iodine bottle and the med kit because uh, I don't want to die right off for this uh, video. I'm going to go ahead and take some iodine pills and just uh, take some, uh, put some bandages on me just in, in case. Um, the uh, main user interface to the game is this uh, PDA. If I open up that PDA, I'll look at my player status. It shows me my health, my hunger, thirst, radiation poisoning, energy, and morale. My energy is capped at my morale, so as my morale increases, my cap for my energy will increase. When I perform achievements on the planet, I'll, I'll get uh, morale increases, kind of level up a little bit, and uh, get my uh, energy cap uh, raised. My energy will allow me to run around the planet faster and do more things before I tire out. Down here at the bottom are electricity, temperature, oxygen, water, and food. These are basically my necessities to survive um, on the planet. And uh, if I open up my space spacesuit, I've, I've got some water there. I've got a few uh, units of water. I can drink some water, and that'll decrease my thirst, raise my health a little bit. Uh, let's see what else I got here. Uh, my battery. Uh, one of the things we have to worry about is recharging our battery, um, which runs our electric heater. I have an electric light. I'll turn that off so I can conserve electricity a little bit. Uh, so we have a, a bunch of things to worry about here when we're first on the planet. Um, we have to worry about the radiation. We have to worry about getting oxygen. We have to worry about getting water, food and uh, electricity, we have to generate electricity to recharge our battery. So we got a, a lot cut out for us here in, in the uh, survival phase of the game. If I go to the atmosphere, uh, that shows me my atmosphere at my current position. These little blue arrows here tell, tells me where I need to get the atmosphere at in order to terraform the planet. If I highlight a block, not only does it tell me something about that block, it also gives me the atmosphere at that particular location. Um, let's see, hack PDA, that allows us to put in a hack code, um, useful uh, for uh, the course of development. Achievements, the game is broken into three chapters. The chapter one being survival, chapter two, discovery, chapter three, the actual terraforming of the planet. Um, craft an item. I picked up a number of little items around the uh, debris field behind the spaceship. Um, unfortunately, I gotta pick up a couple more in order to craft something, so let me just pick up a couple more items. Um, go ahead and craft. 
craft a pickaxe. So now I have a uh, pickaxe. Um, as you go on in the game, there'll be more and more things to uh, to craft, and, and the complexity of, of these items will go up. I'll open up the spaceship. I'm going to just use the spaceship as kind of a storage area here, and uh, put some of these items there. Um, one interesting thing on the spaceship here is this lichen bio unit. Within that lichen uh, bio unit, I have uh, four lichen seedlings. Um, during the course of the game, you'll find uh, you'll find a number of these bio units spread around the uh, the planet. Um, one of the major um, points of the game is to find these uh, bio units and using biology to plant these plants and bacteria and fungi and things in appropriate environments on the planet and use that as a stepping stone to get you to the next um, uh, bio unit that you can uh, plant. So that, that's a big feature of the game is uh, using biology to, to terraform the planet. And those, finding those bio units is, uh, is a major part of the game. Uh, if I use uh, my pickaxe here, one, one useful feature is under uh, settings, um, outline blocks. You can see the block units in the game by outlining them. Let's, uh, let's just, you'll notice uh, as I as I hit a block, it turns the edges turn blacker and blacker. That's just an indication of how attached it is to its surrounding blocks. Um, so there you go. I, I harvested a uh, piece of dirt. I got uh, two achievements now. I harvested my first block, and I crafted an item. So if I go into my achievements, you can see I've gotten those uh, two awards, craft an item. My morale went up by eight, gained an inventory slot, and I gained an inventory slot for harvesting a block. So I've leveled up uh, a bit there. Um, another um, feature of the game here is uh, third person mode. Let me uh, get next to something that will uh, block our view. So as I move around, you can see that these blocks go to transparent mode as I move around. It's pretty useful for when you're underground building structures underground. You can zoom out and see the, uh, the structures from afar as, if, as opposed to just up close. So that's going to uh, complete my first video, and that's kind of an introduction uh, to Terraformer. Um, I hope you uh, stay tuned and watch the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.